Hey guys, it's Rainy from Mel Domestic Church. I am going to do a video today about the changes that I am continually making in our home. Um, maybe I'll make a playlist of like all these videos that I've been making currently that have little bits here and there about like the changes that have happened for me over the last two years with coming closer to the age of 40. So yeah, I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Someone came in here. You know, as I'm getting closer to 40, like these videos I've been doing have just been so much about like letting go, changing, allowing myself to grow, allowing myself to like let go of ideas of myself that I thought I was and all this stuff. So yeah, I might put a, together a playlist. Today, what I'm focusing on is cleaning out the house even more because I cleaned behind my couch today, my two couches. Y'all, it was so bad. There was so much stuff. I mean, it wasn't as bad as I've cleaned some of our couches. They were really bad, but they were like dirty. And I was like, yeah, I'll share this clip because I actually made this intro before when I was outside, but now I was like, that's not a good intro. But I'll share this clip from out there of what I was thinking. Hey guys, I am really trying to get my house tidied up and organized. And the more that I deep clean and do things, the more I'm like, I gotta get rid of stuff. I am going crazy trying to keep our house with eight people in it tidy. So I have been bringing more stuff to Goodwill or to the thrift store and I'm like do I want to spend my time constantly sorting and putting away or do I want to spend my time deep cleaning where the house is actually clean and spending time with my family and cooking like good food where I have time and energy to do it that's what I'd rather be doing so I am going through my books again today and I'm going through Right now, I'm just gonna do the books, but I'm making this video just to encourage anybody. If you are, you know, if you have a large family, and my my family is not even like super large. I have six kids, but it's not like, you know, and I could, you know, with with us not being completely home centered anymore because half the kids go to school and half the kids are homeschooled. I am like, I've shared in my last couple videos, just really overwhelmed since we moved to where we're at. And with how busy it is here and how far we are from everything and all of that and i just have to constantly make changes in my life so yeah anyway so the last couple of years i've made big changes i've lost i lost like 85 pounds and then i gained back like 20 so right now i'm at like 60 65 pounds lost and i'm really fine where i'm at i keep going back and forth with wanting to lose weight but it's just so hard mostly on my mental health and i'm just like okay i'm in like 176 to 178 range and i'm five seven and a half so i'm like it's not bad and i did have my doctor last in midwest told me she didn't want me to lose any more weight so that was one he's so proud he's like thank you um so i did that part you know with my my health i gave away a ton of clothes I made a new, you know, got a whole bunch of new clothes and realized I just couldn't wear dresses all the time anymore. Like, I have a lot of kids in sports now. Um, my life is just so different. So I still have some dresses and skirts, but I just don't wear them all the time. And then I started going through like really bad back spasms for a couple of years. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I went through that. It was like almost like two years. Um, and so then I had to like figure out what I could wear that wasn't restrictive. There's like so all these things that have like, it, to you guys might be like, who cares? But like for me, it was like all my everyday little things that I found my identity in, my clothes, you know, my health, my weight, my stuff I had, my home, like all of these things have shifted so much in the last two years. And so I'm just trying to really adopt this concept of like, I can't take anything with me when I go to be with Jesus one day. My children are literally all going to be grown in like or like at least 18 all of them will be 18 or older in 13 and a half years everything will change then you know so it's like i just want to be able to just embrace all the moments all the time that i have and i don't even know what's promised to me kind of a thing because nothing really is all the time with my husband all the time with my kids and i don't want to spend all of this time worrying about you know, my weight, which thank goodness I got all that off that I, I wanted to get off. So it's easier now on my joints, all this stuff. Like I said before, I would rather be like making a beautiful meal for my family. Not that I like to cook because I'm not big on it, but I like to make people, you know, all come together at the table, our family. Like I love our family. I want to be together at meals. Like I'd rather not spend time doing that. I'd rather spend time playing game with my kids, which I have no energy for because I'm so overwhelmed with stuff and cleaning and not even deep cleaning. 
Oh, so anyway, long intro to say that I am literally try trying to get away, give away a ton of stuff today. Like I had this bin here. It's like, I don't know why this is here. It's not even like ripped. Someone put like tape all over it. But um, I filled the last two days, I brought a whole thing pretty much to a thrift store. I want to fill this up again. And I'm trying to decipher which Catholic books I really want to keep and which ones I want to let go and bless somebody else. Like I got this book, Mary's Way, The Power of Entrusting Your Child to God when I was going through massive anxiety. And guess what? I literally never read this book. I got this book almost like, I think it was like three years ago. Let's see, because it came out. I got it, I think, right after it had come out. Um, yeah, 2016. So I probably got this in 2021. So it's been like two years. I literally have never read it. And I, I don't think I'm going to. It's probably a fantastic book. I just feel like I don't have a lot of time for reading. And this could literally bless another woman. So I'm going to put it in here. There's a lot of books. There's some books I want to keep. Like I got all the Madame Chic books. And although her and I are very different, I, I do want to go through these because... I do want to kind of get some ideas and they're very small, like literally small. And also it's like not like a ton of reading. And I was kind of thinking about doing videos on them. So I am going to keep these, but I have like a lot of these books I got, like when I was going through, um, I'll go through times where I'm like, just want to be really close to Jesus. So I get all these books, these like, uh, Bible studies, but I don't do them. Like I don't sit down and actually do them. And I'm like, I was watching this video today. I'll try to link it if I can find it. And she was talking about how there's been, there's time, there's ways of spending time with the Lord and actually reading. And there's time just hearing the word through songs. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm in a phase of audible and music right now with books and music with the Lord and not actually having in hand books, which is kind of like hard for me to grasp because my mom was librarian growing up and the written word means so much to me. Um, I got, I just have like all these books. Like I got this blessed by a priest. Actually, I'm going to keep this one. And then, um, a woman recommended this one and I do think I want to keep it, even though I don't know if I'm going to read it or not, but these are two that I was very intentional with getting. So I'll probably keep the, probably keep these, this book, like I went through a raw vegan phase and I got this book and I thought it was going to be more about her life, but it was mostly recipes that I'm never going to use. Not that the recipes aren't great, but I'm just not going to use them. They're like, you know, and, and really it was like, she's so sweet, but it's like, was I trying to be like in like a mood to be like, like living on the beach and like this certain type of life because I'm not going to do there. And it was a really nice book, but I'm not, you know, so I'm just going to have to bless somebody else, but I'm just going through all this stuff. I have these like imitation to Christ. So I have this little one, but then I have this really big, large print one and I have to decide like, well, do I want to keep one in my bag? Will I use it in my bag? Do I give it to one of my kids? Like, will they even use it? Like, it's hard to know what to do. I got a Sunday missile. I can't even pay attention can't and now they have the big projectors on where you can just read it so I'm like do I take this so I can be like my grandmother or do I like you know what I'm saying like these are the things I have to go through and figure out so the ones that I'm like well, I'm not really sure like I'll probably keep these on this one but um yeah it's just I don't know. I guess I'm just really overwhelmed. And I just come out of like about of like kind of feeling really down. And today I actually woke up feeling good. And I was like, I need to utilize feeling good to make decisions because it's when I am in this crazy, I want to buy stuff phase or really, really low. Those are the times, just so you know, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I have learned that's not the time to buy a thing. And that's not the time to give away a thousand things. And that's not the time to make any kind of big life decisions. But when I wake up, when I'm like, man, I'm I feel like myself. I feel like peace. I'm like, seize the day, make all the decisions today. So that's what I'm doing. I uh, I was back and forth with this one because I listened to this on Audible and I really liked it, but there was a lot of stuff I had to skip because it's, it's like not like my faith, but I wrote in a lot of it and I'm like, do I keep it? And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to. And someone really could enjoy this book. Such a waste, like the money I've spent. And a lot of these I can't really sell because I've written in them, but um. But yeah, so, and then these two books, I wanted them so bad, but they were like expensive, even used. And then I found them, like they, right at the time that I wanted to get them, I found them in a thrift store for like a dollar each. And I'm not going to show you one because it's inappropriate looking on the cover, but this is one of them. And I listened to one of them on Audible and I enjoyed it, but I'm like, am I going to sit down and actually read the book? But it just felt so like meant to be because they were there when I wanted them. And I'm like, 
Is that how I'm going to live my life? Anyway, do you hear? This is more of a video for people that are just trying to clean out and just trying to think and process. Most people are going to be like probably annoyed with me right now with how much I'm talking. But this is the kind of stuff I think about when I'm giving away because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like as humans, we get so attached to our stuff. So attached. And I've talked about it before about how like if I'm here and this is how I actually am and over here is what I want to be. And whether that's this, like the whole bunch of different variations of yourself. I talked about this in the last video, but the gap between the two is where the spending and buying happens a lot of times for a lot of people. I saw that in a couple of different videos. And, and so it's about getting the closest you can to here and not focusing on over here. And when I think about what I really am doing, how I'm really living, I love to read. My mom is a librarian, like I said. I love reading, but I don't have time for it right now. And I had a friend who gave away, like, seriously, a ton of her stuff. And she said, you know, we don't have, like, a ton of money and stuff. But, like, if I really need it, I'll, I'll get that one thing at one point. And so I'm trying to think about that with, like, stuff like like these. Like, yeah, it came to me at the exact moment. But since I've gotten it, I've never sat down and read it. And there's really not enough pictures in it for me to feel like, um, yeah. So just that process of, like, I don't want to let go and then you do let go and then you walk away from it and then you have to like sit with that and be like, I let that go. It's not mine anymore. And then it's the process of like detaching myself from the thing. And it makes me feel so silly to think that I even care this much about stuff. But obviously I do. So working on that detachment, I think is actually really important. So, okay, I'm gonna get to cleaning, but I wanted to share that. <laughs> okay, so this is empty now from books. It's just the two puzzles and some markers and picture of Jesus. And this is my one area with my books that I've kept down here. I had a whole bunch of yarn, but I don't know where at all. I think the kids play with it, but I was making a baby blanket and I haven't done that in a while. And these are all journals in a bag. And who puts this stuff here? I don't know. A rosary. This is a box of stuff I still have to go through from when we moved. But... It's a lot less than it used to be. It used to be these were both filled up with books. This was partly filled book. This was two rows of books. So I'm getting there. Okay, so I got these books. I was really focusing on becoming a life coach because I was like, what am I going to do after all my kids are in school? But over Thanksgiving, I was sitting down with my uncle and aunt who live in Louisiana, and we were all talking. And my mom was there. I think my mom was there. And we were talking. I mean, they're at the table. We we're talking. And... They were talking about my other aunt and how, or my mom's cousin rather, and how she's a substitute teacher. And they're like, that would be a great option for you. And I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have to create any kind of business. I don't have to go back to school. I could stay home many days, still take care of the home, pick up the kids up from school and stuff. But some of the days I could be a substitute teacher, bring in some income, which is what I think would be a good thing. And my husband wanted me to have something to do after the kids you know, all in school during the day, like, so I don't get, cause I, I kind of have to be around people. And so I was like, I could ask to be a substitute teacher at the Catholic schools and do that a couple of days a week. And that totally healed me from my like stress of, I gotta do something that, you know. And so these life coaching books, I'm just gonna give away. I am not gonna read them. And that's that. And then these two books. So I really like this method, but whenever I fast, I lose my cycle and I'm really trying to keep it going until I'm at least 50. And so fasting just isn't for me right now, but it could really be for somebody else. Okay, I don't need this one. Oh, I love this one. I'm keeping this. <laughs> um, I Oh, I worked through a lot of this. Oh, I totally forgot I was doing a 40-day thing on another channel. And I, I don't think I ever went back to doing the videos. Oh, that is so like me. But I'm going to let this one go because it served its purpose and it was a blessing. Now it can bless somebody else. Okay, so now I just have a few here. It used to be out to here and over here, but it's less. And then I have my binders that I use, so it's good. Okay, I'm going through a bin um, or bottom drawer. This is all crocheting like hats and sweaters made for my little kids, so I'm going to keep those. I have so many jeans and stuff in here that I got over the years to, like fit when I was like getting slender. I don't have, like, I still have tags on because like five bucks, so I'm not going to keep a lot of this. Okay, so this is big. Oh, there's a lot of dust. Ooh. But I have some couple of shorts and a couple of shirts. A bathing suit here, um, some leggings. They're like comfy pants and a, a shirt. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna go through. I don't even know what's in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, so much dust. So here's some uh, jogging, joggers, whatever, leggings, not leggings. There's so much dust, you can see. Um, my um, mother-in-law gave me some of these from Nicaragua. Um, they're like, I think we call them like mama kind of like dresses but like moo's, but I wanted them and I asked her for, for one. And then this one she gave me when I was younger. 
and I just love them. And I'll wear them probably when I get older, but I'm gonna keep them forever. <laughs> All right, I'm back in my closet. I'm always in here trying to figure out what to let go of, and I have really not brought very much in, and I'm so proud of myself for that. I think I officially have less clothes than my husband's, my husband now. Um, there's all these like blankets up here I won't get rid of because they're family things I want to work on. Um, I got these books. No one's ever read them, so I don't know what I should do with them. This was a g gift from um, my oldest daughter's godmother, the Kitchen Madonna, so I've always kept that. I bought this years ago, and I want to keep that. Okay, that's what I have left. And there's honestly a couple of things in here I don't even know if I'll wear for sure. But I'm going to leave them just in case, like these skirts a couple of these tops i just want to have some options um but yeah these are my mask dresses i wear this is i had this a long time ago uh these are a pair of pants i use as my gauge pants like for where i'm at with my weight just because the scales bother me a couple dresses i got this for my christmas dress i was it looked a lot better in the picture so i don't know if i'm gonna wear it but i got that i mean i think it's pretty but okay so here is the full bin I think the number one thing that hits me every time I do something like this, <clears throat> the Lord will satisfy all my needs. <laughs> I need to stop thinking stuff will do it. But every time I get rid of more stuff, it hits me that this stuff didn't mean anything. It was my attachment inside of myself to those things that was like so strong. Um, so it's a good practice to do. It's also very humbling because you look, start looking at all that stuff. You start adding it all up. And if we were still in the Midwest, I might try selling this locally because I think people would come. But where we're at, there is just so many options. I tried to sell some things a while ago and literally nobody said anything. And I forgot it was up. And like months went by and I got my first person to say, oh, is this still available? And I'm like, I need this stuff out of here. I can't just let it sit around. And I don't want to sell it online and wait on that and then do all the trips to the post office and then also I just can't do that so I'm just gonna let it go and just know that you know the stuff that we lost in the midwest from the move we if you are new here which I'm sure you're not if you're still listening to this lady ramble um the movers had lied to us and so that when they got there that day they wanted us to pay another thousand dollars to get all our stuff and we couldn't do that so I had to give away a ton of stuff like a like a hundred bins of stuff like it was awful um, but you know what? Like, we're all okay. It's a little heartbreaking. It tugs in my heart sometimes when I think about the stuff we had to give away. But we're all okay. We're all here. Um, and so it's just, I think, a really good practice to constantly be like, like, I have, in Shein, I have a cart of stuff. And I look at it sometimes and I'm like, but would you actually use that? And if you're looking for a really great, great video, I'll try to find it. Joy Forney's channel, she has a great channel. They're both missionaries. Her husband's a missionary pilot and she's, you know, she stays home with her kids and helps in the community and stuff. And she has a great talk about fast fashion, um, about just like the dangers and how awful it is, what fast fashion does to the world. And it's like, it's just not worth it. So I keep trying to not get from there. I told my oldest daughter, I was like, from now on, I want to only shop locally. I want to like try things on and make sure they fit. And the great thing is, is when you cut your wardrobe down a lot and you only have a few things anyway, you become very selective about what you want to put in your closet because you know it's just going to sit there. So, so yeah, after losing a lot of weight, I really had to kind of like figure out what I wanted to wear and what fit me right. And it's, it's, I'm still trying to figure it out. But I have, for the most part, found that I, I can wear loose fitting pants so if I have to go up a size or two because my back spasms wherever when I got my c-section my c-section the scar I did a lot of work with it I went to PT and everything but still if things are pressing on there it causes a lot of issues for me so I don't know but um and then like bigger t-shirts and I'm like am I really like in that space where I'm wearing like basically lo like looser pants or like not not tight leggings but like joggers and t-shirts praise Jesus I am married to a man that is like super relaxed about that stuff he just wants me comfortable and he doesn't care about makeup or any of that stuff and I'm actually really thankful for that for years I wish that like oh I could be more of like like dress up and do all these things but I didn't want to do that stuff anyway and then when I was thankful my husband never like pressured me that and I'm not trying to be like I know if you're going through that I'm sorry I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad I'm just saying I'm thankful with how I have to dress right now that it's um I don't have that pressure but anyway so there's always pressures, right? We all go through stuff, but 
So I don't know, this is kind of a rambly video. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got out of the house and lots of clothes, lots of books, lots of dresses, some shoes that I didn't need anymore. Um, and I already feel lighter and I haven't even dropped it off yet, but just being able to mentally, like for yourself, I say for me, being able to tell myself, I am in a place right now where I can listen to songs and I can listen to books on audio, Audible, and that's it. That's what I can do right now. Later on, if I want to get a book, I can probably get it at the library. If it's really hard to find and I'm really like going to read it, okay, maybe I can do it, but maybe save it for birthdays, Christmas. Like what I used to do, we didn't have any money. Um, like there is a cookbook, like a cookbook by Reba, and I want it so bad. So instead of just getting it, I took a picture of it and I said, honey, to my husband, I was like, I really want this for Christmas. Um, so things like that, being really intentional with what I bring in the home. And, um, and then when I like have that desire to like, buy or do something it's like go move my couch out and clean it out go look through stuff I already have like deep clean something first and see that there is so much to be done already in the house before bringing stuff in so I hope this video has encouraged blessed somebody out there even if it's just one person even if it was just me <laughs> making the video so I could like chat about it anyway if you're new here I would love you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up share if you think this would bless somebody else I don't know if it will, but I do like videos like this where people just chat and talk while they're doing stuff and share their thoughts. I enjoy those kind of videos. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.